Welcome to another episode of Class Haven Farm. So what are we doing today? Well, today we are back here at the uh, house that I bucked up all this poplar. And now it's time to get it loaded up. So we're going to get it loaded up into the carry-on trailer and then we'll do a uh, load in the bed of the truck. So I'll show you guys how I use my hand truck and how I get these big rounds loaded up. So stay tuned. So typically what I like to do is I like to get the biggest rounds that I can first and I load them on the trailer. So I'll load the trailer with all the big, big rounds and usually start at the base of the tree and work my way up. And then once I get the trailer loaded up, then I'll start at the top of the tree, grabbing all the smaller stuff and just kind of work my way down. Uh, with this little five by eight trailer and then my uh, short bed truck, uh, probably got at least two if not three loads before I can get this whole poplar tree up. It's always fun when you're doing this by yourself though. And don't mind my uh, my onlookers over there barking while we're doing this. With this piece of poplar here, I'm only gonna do one, one round at a time just because of how big it is. We have some people that'll watch me do this and they'll say, I don't know why you use a hand truck. You could just roll them up on there and you could, you could roll them. I just like using the hand truck because it gives me a lot more control and I'm letting the hand truck do most of the work and not me. If I got to do three trips on this tree, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time muscling and trying to roll it up on to the lift gate. And I've done this so much that I got my own system and it just works a lot easier for me uh, because even when I was married, I did all of this by myself anyway, because it's not like the ex and the kids wanted to be here doing all this all the time. This uh, hand truck that I have is about an 800 pound capacity hand truck. And it works really well for me because it's not like I'm picking any of these rounds up that are gonna be more than 800, but it's also not too big and bulky. Sometimes you get one of those really, really big, huge hand trucks. They get really bulky and uh, it's hard to maneuver it around especially if the ground is wet or something like that. So if you've ever played Tetris, that is literally what this is like. So sometimes you'll take pieces because you're trying to maximize getting every piece in here that you possibly can. You're literally going to just try to get it to fit as best as you can. So I'll go ahead and speed you guys up on this so you're not just watching me work at a slow pace. We'll get the trailer loaded up and then we'll get the truck bed loaded up.
So pretty good load there in the trailer. Tried to maximize everything I could. And now we'll start loading everything up here in the bed of the truck. So uh, yeah, a lot of fun work, especially when you're doing it by yourself. It'd be a lot easier if I had the chicken whisper and the lily tamer here with me, but uh, they are with their mom this weekend, which is good. Get some time with their mom and then they'll come back to me and I'm sure he's going to want to run the splitter and get all this stuff split up because we love to run a splitter. And uh, yeah, so I'll go ahead and get this loaded up and then I will show you guys bed of the truck the load and like i said i probably have about two more trips before this is done at least on this one and then i'll start bucking that gum tree up do the same thing with the gum tree and then we'll get that out of here and do the same thing with the sugar maple and it looks like he's got two more poplars that he wants to take down i would say we're probably going to be pretty good for firewood this year which is a good feeling because I'll tell you this year going into it, uh, I had to spend so much time on the house, uh, getting the house ready for us to be able to move in that I had no time to really devote towards gathering firewood and all that. Um, and I, I shared this in previous videos that I've done, but if it wasn't for my church, I, I don't know what I would have done. They, they donated firewood to me. <clears throat> and, uh, if anybody from a church is watching it, thank you guys because, uh, I don't know what I would have done this winter uh, if you guys hadn't have done that. So it definitely feels good to come out here and be able to start trying to get ahead. I mean, granted, I still have to split this and I still have to stack it and all that. But uh, but at least I have the ability to be able to do that. So, you know, it's a, it's a true blessing. You know, we all go through things in our lives and, you know, things that we didn't ask for and things that we didn't prepare for. Um, but you know, every single one of those things that you go through, there's, there's a purpose in it. There's a reason why you're going through it. And, uh, you know, I, I can definitely say I'm one that's, uh, that gets negative about things a, a lot of times. And it's something that I'm really having to, to sit back on. Uh, I know with my current circumstance, uh, I definitely have a lot of my own personal feelings towards that, but it is what it is. It's just part of this journey. And I honestly think it's just, uh, it's just a path that I have to walk and things that I have to learn. So let me go ahead and get this thing loaded up in the uh, bed of the truck. I'm not going to show you guys that because it's kind of repetitive. And then uh, I'll show you the finished product. All right. So got a pretty good load. Got the bed of the truck loaded up. Got my tools in there. And then got the hand truck strapped down on the trailer. So we definitely made a dent in that poplar tree. Everything up out of the top is gone. And I'm down to just a little bit past midway on the tree. Actually thinking I might be able to get all of this in one more load. Uh, but we'll see. Um, actually kind of happy with how it went today. So if, uh, if you like this kind of stuff, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And just kind of follow us along. Uh, you know, as I've put in some of my hashtags, I'm just a single dad out here just starting over. And uh, this is the kind of stuff that I like to do. Outside of the YouTube channel, uh, you can follow us along on Class Haven Farms on Facebook and also Class Haven Farms on Instagram. And uh, if you want to try to contact me, uh, you can email me at classhavenfarms at gmail.com. And I'll put that down below here. And uh, yeah, just kind of follow me along on this journey. We got a lot of cool stuff coming up. Uh, we're going to be starting our seeds uh, for our garden. Uh, I, the Chicken Whisperer wanted to get a little greenhouse and kind of start a uh, start a little greenhouse. So found a found a little cheap one on Amazon. So we're going to try that out. So maybe we'll do a video on that. Uh, we got sixteen uh, meat chickens uh, hatching on April twenty fourth. So they're going to be coming soon. I know the kids are super excited about that. They love having little baby chicks. Of course, these are going to be uh, Cornish cross. So we're only going to have them for eight weeks. So three weeks in the brooder, five weeks out in the chicken tractor on fresh grass. Uh, so, you know, look for, look for some videos on that. And I don't know, man, just kind of going along and doing my thing. 
So really appreciate all the support that everybody's given me. And uh, as always, I'll see you on the next one.